a pickup of seven, and it's a second down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. They'll run. This is Hill. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And that's how you get started and open up a game. Really well-blocked play. Picked up a nice chunk of yardage. If you're the offensive line, that's exactly what you've talked about all week long in your meetings. Establish a line of scrimmage and take control. And they gave their running back plenty of room to rumble. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second down, Hill, and they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They lost two there, and it's third down. So we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. On third and long, it's Bortles. And that is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. Now fourth down. So on fourth down, on comes the Jaguars. Jason Myers now for the field goal try. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. So it's our visitors who make the first dent in the scoreboard as they get three here on the initial drive of the ball game. Yeah, it's hard to say who actually won that opening drive. On the one hand, anytime you can come in as a road team and get an early lead, you're going to be thrilled. But at the same time, to have the ball as deep in enemy territory as they did and come away with only three, that's got to be a little bit of a disappointment. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. They're mobile QB. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Shaquille Barrett able to get him for a loss of about three. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there, a 22. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Three down, three down. Set. They go play action here on first down. Out to his left. Caught left side, Williams. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Brennan Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's OKC football here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Let's go. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. 
No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Offense working with a second and goal now from the three. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second... And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyrell Williams, his third touchdown now on the year. And his guys have taken the lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Now after the touchdown, Drew Kayser to boot it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Jags. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Hill, the lone setback. Portals to throw on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. On first and 10, here's Bortles. Quick throw, that's complete on the inside slant. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Bortles gonna throw. A dump off now to Hill. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. On second down, here's Bortles. And he's going to be taken down here. Back across midfield, three yards away from midfield at the 47. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to the booth right after this. Reminder that when halftime rolls around, Larry Ridley will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On third down, here's Hill. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be fourth down. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. And now back out comes the offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's got time. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Here's Drew Kayser now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. That's taken on the 25. <laughs> a very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, Bortles. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Bortles throwing on second down. They set up the screen to Hill. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a line. There he goes, left side. The 40, the 20, 10, 5. And with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of this second quarter. Indeed. Indeed. And that score gives him a little more separation in a bigger lead. A little more of a comfort zone now. They can do more things defensively, maybe take a few more gambles as they try to continue to extend their lead.